Don't that look like my hair back there? It do. It do. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another cozy night in. Get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Y'all know I'm drinking backwash, lip gloss, and apple juice, okay? There's really nothing in this cup. It's just a little sweet. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing great because look at this wig on my head. We're going to be doing a get ready with me and we not going nowhere. That's what the cozy night in get ready with me's are for because basically my time management is bad and I can't go nowhere anyway, so I might as well put on some makeup. <laughs> and we're gonna chat, have a little bit of girl talk, all that type of stuff. But before we go ahead and get into that, I want to ask y'all a quick question. Could you subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because this is my birthday month and I just feel like y'all can just give it to me as a gift. For this get ready with me, like I said, we're gonna do two things, baby. It's gonna be from the neck up, we're gonna be a baddie. From the neck down, it's gonna be pajamas. Obviously, like I said, this hair is the hair that we're gonna be featuring. I can't see what y'all can see. Hopefully it don't look a fool back there. But look at that, babe. Don't that look like my hair back there? It do. It do. It's crazy. Oh my God. I didn't know it looked that good back there because I can't see it. But it look good though, don't it? The hair looks so realistic and look how long it is. Ugh. And I want to say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this Get Ready With Me because oh my God. This wig is a 360 lace frontal wig. So baby, root of the tuta, 360 degrees, girl, you are covered, okay? We gonna go ahead and get into it and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the face, chats, body image, all types of stuff. So, we gonna have a little girl tag, grab your drink. Y'all go ahead and grab your popcorn or whatever you like to eat because I can't eat popcorn because my stomach hurts. I don't know why I'm going into that. Grab your drink. Now let's go ahead and get into this hair. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and get into this face. So your wig is gonna come in the OMG Her Hair box and inside that box, of course, you receive your wig, but you're also gonna receive gifts, a rat tail comb, wig cap, hair clips, an elastic band, all that type of stuff. But of course, the most important thing is your wig. Now this wig is a glueless, 360 HD lace, kinky straight, clean hairline, bleached knots wig. Now this wig comes 22 inches long, 150% density. It comes with four combs inside of the wig. And like I said, a kinky hairline and lace all the way around. Now the great thing about this wig is that it's so versatile, but you don't have to worry about um, the wig being fully laced. So you get the full lace look without the full lace hassle. Now this wig, like I said, it's 360 lace frontal wig. So the base is gonna be simple, easy, my wig grip, wig cap. But once I tried the wig on, look how gorgeous this wig is. The hairline was definitely giving and I wanted to give y'all the full effect of what this wig looked like. So I decided to put this hair up inside of a, in a bun and babes, babes. Look how this wig looks all the way around. You're able to wear this hair up in the bun, which is perfect for summertime because y'all know summertime. Girl, the neck be hot. Now, for me, all I wanted to do is customize this wig a bit. This wig has a kinky hairline, but I wanted to melt it into the kinky straight hair because the hairline was a little bit short. So to like blend it, I'm gonna use my wax stick and my Red by Kiss Hot Comb on the lowest setting. I'm not trying to straighten the hair. I'm just trying to blend it a little bit. I want the hairline to stay kinky. I want it to look very natural. And I decided to do the same thing at the back of the head. Now this was tricky because babes, I couldn't see. I couldn't see not a doggone thing. So it was tricky and it was dangerous, but obviously I almost burnt myself like three or four times looking at it. Oh my God. But either way, girl, we figured it out. Now next I'm gonna go ahead and use my Annie Shears. These are the stainless collection. I forgot what it's called, the ice collection. But I'm gonna use these shears to cut off the lace. Now the only thing about a 360 lace frontal is that I do have to shape it to my head. And while I was cutting around the lace, I had to put the elastic band on so this thing wouldn't move. Now you could wear this wig glueless, but I decided to wear it you know, with a little bit of adhesive on it. So because I'm doing that, I'm going to start in the front. I'm gonna use my Eben Lace Bond Spray, and I'm just gonna spray the wig down over top of the lace. Sometimes I go under the lace and attach it, but I'm gonna go over top the lace because it's super easy and it's much simpler, especially with a 360 lace frontal. But you do you see, I did not use lace tint, nothing girl. It's blending right into the skin right into the skin. So I'm spraying down 
the ear tabs and attaching the ear tabs. Y'all know the ear tabs are the hardest part. I'm not planning on doing baby hairs because I want the hairline to look like a natural hairline. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down the um, ear tabs on this wig. I forgot what that was called. <laughs> I'm going to lay down the ear tabs little by little. Now, I decided to take my time with this because you're going to see the whole hairline. If I wear my hair up in a bun, girl, I can't cover it up with a baby hair. Okay, so I have to do this intricately. So I decided to move all the way around the hairline slowly and efficiently. Now, around the ears, I had to be careful. I decided not to attach like above my ears because I just didn't feel like it. I just decided to work from the back. So I cut the back last. And girl, I just was hoping that it looked right in the back because this wig cap was a little bit big on my head. Y'all know I have a very, very small head. So it was a little bit big. So I had to cut off a little extra lace in the back to make sure it fit perfectly. And it wasn't given like my hair was growing all the way down to my clavicles. Like I did not want that or my, what do you call it? What's the bones on your back? The muscles on your back? <laughs> I forgot what it's called, but I didn't want it to go down that far. So once I cut it down, I used some even lace bond spray to attach the hair at the back. And I sprayed it down and attached it, girl, that was it. Now for the front, I wanted to melt down that hairline. So I used my wig dealer melting gel and I applied it. Now y'all know I be messy with the application. So of course I have to remove that shininess that gives me that licked forehead look. So I'm gonna go ahead and use um, some micellar water to remove that excess shininess. Because if you want it to look realistic, you got to get ready to shine, girl, because otherwise you're going to be it's going to be a glare where your forehead should be. Don't nobody want that. So as you can see, it looks so realistic from the front and from the back. Now, I noticed that the even lace bond spray is not the best on the back. It's better to use like a wig dealer gel or something like that, because this ended up popping up and I had to reattach it. So don't use even use a gel. Take it from me. But look how natural it looks in the back. That is craziness. That is insane. I was so in love I was so excited, but now we can go ahead and get into this gorgeous hair. Girl, this is part two of how amazing this wig is. Now look at how gorgeous this hair is. It's very, very soft. It's long, it's luscious, it looks so realistic. And the only thing I needed to do was kinda straighten it out a little bit and flatten where the part was. The hair is already pre-parted, so I didn't have to worry about that. But I wanted to make sure the hair was um, combed through, detangled, it kind of flattened a little bit before I decided that I wanted to cut, well not cut the hair, well cut the hair and style the hair. Y'all know I had to cut it a little bit. I didn't want to, it didn't really need it, but it needed like a teeny tiny bit of a trim, especially if I'm going to curl the hair. So I decided to use my hot comb just to remove some of the kinks a little bit and get the hair just a little bit uh, more smooth so I'm able to trim the hair and it won't be uneven. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my Annie shears. Of course, these things are so sharp because they're new and I trim the ends. Baby, I felt like a professional. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Look at my face. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and trim and layer the front of the head. So I'm going to take my Annie shears and cut the front, layer that on down. Yes, ma'am. And look at that. All it needed was a little bit of trim. And look at how much body this hair has. Now, next we're gonna go ahead and show off this hairline because I was, I was, you couldn't tell me this wasn't my hair, friend. But after this, we're gonna go ahead and curl the hair. Now, Q, Chi, Spin and Curl, she's coming. She's entering stage left, okay? Do you enter or exit stage left? I don't know, but girl, she's coming to the stage and she's ready. I'm gonna use my Chi spin, spin and Curl to curl this hair away from the face. I love curling kinky straight hair. The only thing about curling kinky straight hair is, girl, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay at all, but that's okay. You know, I'm just gonna continue to try and curl this hair and I'm gonna help it out, help the curls out with my Pantene air spray. And it's a level three air spray, so it's a really soft hold, but I like using the air spray to make sure this hair has a little bit of help and the curls can keep just a little bit. So I let the curls sit for maybe like 10 minutes before I fluff them out. So I'm just gonna finger comb them first just to see if I can see what these curls are looking like and look how beautiful luscious and fluffy they are 
so gorgeous i love keeping the texture in here i don't like straightening it out i love the texture it looks so much more full of body so natural so gorgeous i was in love with this look it's absolutely gorgeous it looks so realistic and the fact that i can put this hair up in a bun girl i was over it you can't tell me this isn't my hair like you can't tell me it is it look at that nape of that neck now if you're interested in this wig i'll leave a link for it down below i also will leave a coupon code for the girlies that are interested you can get 30 dollars off a purchase over 179 dollars. so use my coupon code it's on the screen i'll also leave it in the, in the description box below Go ahead and check it out now let's go ahead and get into the face. okay y'all let's go ahead and get started with the face now obviously this is a cozy night in so we ain't going nowhere i'm just gonna be sitting here why is my face so bright we just gonna be doing this face okay getting this makeup together and then going to bed <laughs> so i have on this robe this robe is from target obviously i love this robe i have the one in black and then I have this one. This one's like the gray one. It's in an extra small, small, and it's still pretty cozy and roomy. I got on some shorts under here because just in case, girl, I can. <laughs> I love this robe and it has pockets. It's super cute. I've been loving, been loving Target's um, pajama stuff. Anyways, so let me turn on, let me, y'all, I got some mood lighting in this room. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I actually need to go. What was I about to say? I need to go pick up a lamp for our living room because we ain't gotten one. But let me, okay, let me show y'all. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna turn on the office light, but we about to do some mood lighting, okay? What do we wanna be? Oh, that pink is cute, but I think I wanna do purple. I love purple. Can I do a deep purple? like a purplish blue. Okay, look, okay, so yeah, these are like the Fate, Fight electric uh, light bulbs. <sighs> I'm loving the vibe in here. I'm also drinking some apple juice, not wine today, cause today is Thursday. I drank too much for my birthday, and oh my God. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the concealer. Now, I'm still going through my, um, my skin is slowly but surely if you saw my skin at first it really like the color was not coming back but finally as you can see on this top lip i mean we're really really close to all of my color coming back but down here on this chin this came last so if you don't know where it came from um i think these came from a product i got from amazon it was like these clean skin wipes only a small percentage of people got these rashes on their face but baby i was one of them so lucky me cover that up i like to use a concealer as a foundation but i love using this concealer as a foundation anyway so this is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color chai i love using this as sometimes i use a color corrector but it's been too thick lately i'm not trying to do all that so just gonna Put this all over the face. Oh, I would pull this hair back, but girl, girl, my um, the back of I did not apply the back of my um wig right, baby. That thing popped up a few times. I definitely needed to use this wig dealer gel versus the even spray because the even spray, basically, girl, it was like scotch tape on a wall, girl. It didn't really do much. Yeah, you see how that covers that up. Before, I used to have to use, let me see if there's any texture to them. No. Go ahead and dab all over the face. Now, I've been talking about my birthday so much, girl, I'm over it. One thing I will tell you, though, girl, I forgot how old I was. Like, I literally corrected my husband. He's like, you're 36 years old. I said, I'm 37. I don't know how old I am. But I really was feeling like, I got to 37 fast. But if my sister is 39, I can't be 37 because we're three and a half years apart. So... I'm 36. I definitely need to get this hair out the way, but it's so pretty. I, do, I don't feel like it. Okay, hydraulic. Okay. Just blending all of this in. Look how pretty that looks on the skin. I'm still a bit insecure about my skin. I still stare at it multiple times a day. I go to every single mirror in the house, both bathrooms, both bedrooms. 
I'm in every mirror looking at my skin. It is insane. I'm just ready for it to go back to normal because I, you know, have been spoiled at this stage in my life. These lashes are falling out like crazy. I've been spoiled at this stage in my life with really good skin. When I was younger, like preteens, teens, girl, I had acne, but I've been spoiled with great skin. So when that rash happened, it was just like, oh my God. Oh my God. And I'm sick of looking at it on camera. But I'm so grateful that it's clearing up. So I'm just practicing gratefulness. You know, and also my smile lines kind of dissipated because the skin is feeling right there. So count your blessings, girl. That's all I need to do. I just count my blessings. Go oh, for concealer. The concealer I've been loving more than any other concealer is this lip bar concealer in the color caramel. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's one of the best concealers out there. Um, it doesn't crease. It has a lot of good coverage, but it's still kind of sheer. Like it's like a satiny finish. I love it. So I'm just going to add this to the skin. It's like when I'm going out, I still wear this like daytime, nighttime, all of it. Miss Mama's is going with me. And obviously I had a sponsorship with them a long time ago, but girl, that was last July. And this is from last July. I just bought another one. Um, in a different color but this is from last july so girl they need to hit me up again because i love this stuff like i love it yeah i'm just letting the color set in and then we're gonna go in with i think i'll go in with the blush let me grab that blush now while this sets for a second and then i'm gonna blend it out but i think you know i still don't feel like Every year I get older in my 30s, I'm thinking like, what did I learn? Did I learn anything? Do I feel like, you know, I have this epiphany about, you know, life? No. I still feel like I don't know shit. I still feel like 20 year olds could teach me something that I couldn't teach myself. I think maybe 40 something will happen, but 30s I don't feel like it's that far. I still feel like I'm... Not a certain age, but I still feel like I'm the same age as the kids till I get around them. Until I get to the get around the people in their 20s, then I'm like, oh girl, I'm not in my 20s. <laughs> oh girl, I can't do that. What you doing right there? Taking three or four shots in a row? Oh no, I can't do that. I gotta pace myself, girl. Tippy toe around the drinks. Baby, I love it. Y'all see how that looks on the skin? I'm like, come through. See, this little rashy rash right there really don't want to clear up. Okay, so I know the girls have been doing this blush thing, and y'all know I'm a follower. So, obviously, I've been using the NYX Wonder Stick Stick Blush, and I'm going to go ahead and use this to... I need to apply it to the sponge. I'm going to use this and apply it. What color is this? This is coral. I mean, I guess I can do a brighter blush. I'm just gonna add it to the top part of the cheeks. Like people are basically putting it as concealer and I wanna do that too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's sticky. But I wanna be like the girls and make my blush. Oh girl, that's really bright. Okay. Okay, just blend it in. Blend it in. Oh girl, that's a lot of blush. Wow, I got some nerve. Wow, obviously I'm more secure in my body because I just did that. Why did I do that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now, what was I saying? I was saying that um, I do feel more secure in my body, but I will tell you being online, girl, I'm getting less secure about my body. Like much less secure and it's so weird. Like I love my body, but there's certain things I nitpick because I'm looking at myself on camera all day. I think I've talked about this before. But I'm looking at myself on camera all day. This is the Laura Mercier powder. I'm just using my sponge to set it. I look at myself all day and take pictures all day. It is an unnatural amount of looking at yourself. It's like crazy. I, I don't, on a normal day, nobody should be looking at themselves as much as I look at myself. In the mirror and then on camera and then editing myself. Like it's just a lot of looking at myself so I do feel a bit less secure and I've said this many times please if I hear or see a pregnant emoji in my uh, comments again I'm like gonna lose it like the other day usually I'm like okay but the other day 
I'm not gonna say who it is, but the other day somebody had left a comment and like said I was pregnant with girl. Like they put a little pregnant emoji or or something like I just please like I want y'all to stop doing that because like girl I just ate. I had to like have a conversation with myself and say like girl human stomachs like natural human stomachs and no shout out to the girls that got a BBL and you know I'm happy for y'all truly but stomachs that haven't had any surgical intervention expand once you eat it is a human thing and expecting my body to do something not human and expecting it to be flat 24 7 is insane like it's just like insane but when somebody left that comment i started think like i started spiraling girl i started spiraling i was like okay what's going on with my stomach like why my stomach look like this do i have an issue i know i'm not pregnant like i know i'm not pregnant so i'm not pregnant but why does my stomach stick out like that girl you just ate and you're wearing a house of cb dress that's the reason why you're feeling like that but you know it can't my uh, image of myself can be shaken a little bit if I look at the video or I look at myself and I see I'm bloated and then I'm like oh girl my image of myself goes downhill it's irrational it's uh dysfunctional but it literally is what happens and I just be needing y'all to help me out and not say I look pregnant all the time because I'm telling you if I was pregnant you would know I just found out Latoya forever is pre pregnant I just watched her vlog it's awesome <laughs> but you would know but I never thought like it would happen like this many times. I never thought like people would actually be commenting like pregnancy, pregnancy. And I understand like I'm married, so it shouldn't be offensive, but it is because I don't want no kids right now. Don't want no kids. So it's not like, and even if I did, like what if I was having issues? Like what, that's not the case, but what if, you know, something could change between today and tomorrow and we decide we want kids. And what if, you know, like you don't know what, people are going through. So I just be really trying to figure out, did somebody not get the memo? Like, before y'all left that comment, did like, why y'all gotta say that? Like, really? Oh, I'm gonna use my Bobby Brown's, Bobby Brown bronzer. And I know I'm going on and on about this, but like, really, I have to be honest, it did mess me up that day. And it was like, around my birthday. And I was like, dang. That person that left that comment is not responsible for my emotional regulation. But at the same time, I would be lying if I said that those comments don't affect me. Like it don't have, it doesn't have me thinking like, what's going on with my stomach? Why my stomach look like that? Why can't I just suck in? I thought I was sucking in. Well, baby, maybe you can't just suck in a whole, you know, duck feast. Okay. <laughs> and three glasses of wine. Maybe you can't suck that in right now. And then I'm thinking like, maybe I should go to the gym more. I haven't been going to the gym. Oh my God, I haven't been going to the gym. I haven't been taking care of myself. Now my stomach's expanding and my body look all weird. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Like all the self-talk is just terrible. Anyways, I will say like, although I'm more comfortable in my body, I do feel like um, I am easily, I'm still easily shaken because of what, being online i'm easily shaken so yeah and baby i definitely i didn't edit that photo and i almost did i almost flattened my stomach and i'm so happy i didn't because then i wouldn't have had the opportunity to take a look at how unreasonable it is to think i'm supposed to show up as like not human you know what I'm saying? All the time. Sometimes, girl, I'm going to edit my stomach. Sometimes I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, because I feel like it. And I felt like it that day. But other days, or I'm going to edit my face. I'm going to edit my skin. I'm going to edit my, you know, I'm going to edit my makeup. I'm going to edit all that. But it's not necessary. I shouldn't feel, I shouldn't feel like I should look like that in everyday life. Like, walking around. Like, that's crazy. Like, ain't that crazy? That's crazy. I think that's one thing. I do feel like I am fortunate to be this age at this time because the girls, I would not trade being in my 20s right now because the pressure to look a certain way is extreme. Like, baby, my girls were video vixens. The Melissa Fords, the Buffy the Baddies. <laughs> uh, who else? I mean, like, the Gabrielle Unions, the... Um, uh, Robin Givens, who else was out there? Who are the girls? You know the girls that was at the top of the world at that time. The Beyonce's, the Kelly's, you know? 
those were the girls that I looked up to for like body image and the Jet Magazine girls. And the Jet Magazine girls, I would always turn to the back of Jet Magazine. Is it Jet Magazine? Yeah, it was Jet. The Jet Magazine Beauty of the Week, I would scroll to the back and look at the Jet Magazine girls and be like, oh my God, they're so stunning. I wanna be like, girl, I always wanted to be the Jet Magazine girl. <laughs> those were the girls I was looking at, but the girls, the these girls be looking at i'm sorry i'm looking for my eyebrow pencil i don't know where i put it what color is this girl brunette i'm looking for the black one is that in the bathroom i think it's in the bathroom hold on but the girls that um these young girls are looking up to are like bad girl they're gorgeous but some of them a lot of them got surgery and stuff like that i i know i would have felt fallen well i would hope i wouldn't have because i'm scared of everything but I know I would have been like trying to count my ducats to get to get on the table, probably. If I'm thinking with my young mind and thinking about what guys think and whether or not they were attracted to me, I probably would have thought about it seriously. And that is scary. And when I started, you know, I was always really thin and I wanted to be thicker like the women I looked up to. Even the women in like my neighborhood that had gorgeous, courageous bodies and I was really tiny. I wanted to look like them so I went to the gym because going to get surgery wasn't even like a thing you know what I'm saying it wasn't a thing so you eat you go to the gym you overeat and all that type of stuff so that's what I did <laughs> I worked out I started to work out and stuff so okay I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the brows upward is it still bright out it's still a little bit light out. I love that about summertime. So I do think like how I see myself, I'm more accepting of who I am. But girl, that's like, it was like a revelation when I looked around the club. I was like, girl, the 20s was, it wasn't, it was fun. But girl, they be making, they be making it seem like the 20s is where it's at. No, ma'am. I guess where you are is where it's at. And where I am is where it's at. <laughs> I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm just filling in my brows. Like so. <gasps> Girl, that's the only thing about this Micro Brow Pencil. It will crumble. It will crumble like a cake right there. Or cookie. Right down your eyebrows. I have to put, uh, set this blush with more blush. <laughs> like I'm really gonna look like somebody's clown, but. <laughs> Give me a red nose, friend, because I'm here for it. Uh, add a blush to my nose, to my chin. I guess this could be a nice, like, nighttime <laughs> look. I mean, if you want to be cute at night, I guess. I don't know what this could be, but wow, that's a lot of blush. Okay, so next I'm going to get some highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and use the lip bar. I already use this palette for the blush, but I'm also gonna use the highlighter in this palette and I'm just gonna, there's a lot of colors going on in my face. And I kind of feel like a paint palette <laughs> at this point. A little highlighter here and there won't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, ooh girl, my under eyes are looking tired. Last night or this morning I went to bed at five and I woke up at like 10, 11 because my time management has been so bad. That's my New Year's resolution because the New Year's resolution starts on my birthday. <laughs> so I wanna get better with time management because I'm driving myself nuts. I thought it was winter time. I'm always trying to blame it on something else other than myself. And baby, it's just, I got about, I got poor time, in, time management. I think I need to add like a little bit of something to my eyelids because I feel like my eyelids is way too light and I need to get some business because what is this about what is this about oh here it is let's go throw a little bit of bronzer y'all know i do the same thing i'm gonna use my barbara Brown bronzer and i'm gonna put it on my eyelid i'm gonna put it on my eyelid real quick and that's it there's nothing like getting pretty and going nowhere <laughs> okay so i'm gonna take my sponge and i'm just gonna do my lower lash line And then I'm gonna toss on some mascara. I'm gonna toss on this mascara from BTS. It's a Too Faced BTS 
better than mascara. I guess, I don't know if you can say that word on here. I'm just gonna add some mascara to the lower lash line because I like for it to even out. Yeah. This hairline is giving. You hear me? And do the other side. And let me call my husband while I'm finishing this off because girl, the camera about to die anyways. Where's my FaceTime? Let me call my man, my man, my man. Okay, lastly, all we have to do is our lips. I had to recurl this top part because y'all know kinky curly hair. Well, kinky straight hair does not keep a curl at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the liner to the lower, la lower, I was about to say lash line, girl. This is the, I didn't even tell y'all what this was. This is a NYX Line Loud lips, lip pencil in the color Rebel Kind. This is a little bit too dark, I feel like, but pff, where are we going? Nowhere. So, and this has been my go-to look for the summertime. I uh, prepped my lips with the Laneige. Oh, I need to buy some more of this. This glowy lip balm. Prep my lips with this. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced um, Extreme uh, Lip Gloss in the color Pink Punch. It's like a plumping lip gloss. Burns like the Dickens, girl, but you end up with some juicy looking lips. You see that? Mm -hmm. Real pretty. All I need to do is spray my face down. Now, what did I do with my... If it's on the floor, I'm gonna be mad. And I saw it over there. Let me go ahead and get my makeup spray. So I'm gonna use my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this makeup. It's gonna look 10 times better once I set it and forget it, so. I'm also gonna respray these curls with my Pantene Air Spray. If, whoa, girl, what almost, what's going on? Okay, I'm gonna respray my curls with the Pantene Air Spray. And I'm just gonna Okay, but I'm gonna let this makeup set in and then I'm gonna show you what the finished look looks like once I fluff out the curls, all of that. And plus I need to add some jewelry, like a little earring or something, because I feel like it's not done with a little earring. Okay, let's fluff out this hair. Let me zoom y'all out a bit. Can y'all see my, this hair is just like, oh, everything. Can you see it? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So gorgeous. This is the finish look. Look how natural this hair looks like. This is crazy. And baby, it's hooked from Ruta to Tuta, from the hair to the neck, girl. And this is a finished look on the face. My lighting has been weird today. I don't know what, it's just been strange. As far as the skin, it looks so good. Let me move this in front of my lace because y'all ain't, ain't gonna check me today. I don't feel like it. <laughs> the skin, the blush, it's giving very much fresh. It's super easy and a quick look using just concealers, no foundation. Even though I basically use my concealer as a foundation, you know what I mean. Okay, that's how we do. Just tricking the girls, but the hair is my favorite part. Now this lace in the back is lifting, but who is gonna pay attention to that? So this is a finished look. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this cozy night in. Get ready with me. Girl, I'm exhausted. I took some CBD, so like I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so tired. Anyways, I love you all. Again, thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Um, Y'all let me know what other videos or what other topics you want me to talk about for Get Ready With Me's and Cozy Night Ends. Or do you have any sort of ideas? Please let me know down below. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And, oh, where's my drink? And I'll see you in my next video.